Hey guys, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special and exciting video and that is going to be my bookshelf tour. So I recently checked on my channel and I realized the last time I've done any type of official full bookshelf tour was from five years ago and so I thought it was well past time that I do an updated one. I'm especially excited because I am such a huge fan of my new bookshelf setup and I'm just looking forward to kind of going book by book <laughs> through each of these shelves with you. Not gonna waste any more time on this intro, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in, starting first with the overview of my shelves, and then of course going shelf by shelf, going through each and every book. So I'm standing on my reading chair basically right now, but here is a faraway shot of my shelves themselves. Um, these are the CB2 nine foot shelves. I really like these. I like that they don't have a back, they're more open. I also think they fill the space really, really nicely. I'll have them linked down below. I do get a lot of questions about them. And I'll also link a few other alternatives as well. For the first time in my life, I also actually organize my bookshelves by genre. I've never really had the space to do it in a way that I wanted to before. Usually I just kind of organize things by series and vibes and a little bit of a prayer to try to just make stuff fit. But because I have more space, I did try to dedicate things a little bit by genre. I was just organizing things by how I like it visually. So yeah, that is a general overview of my bookshelves. I have four of them. Um, but now let's go ahead and kind of go quick overview shelf by shelf. Starting on shelf one, I have middle grade and Paddington and then the start of my collection of YA fantasy. I do have spillover onto other shelves pretty much for all genres, um, but I do try to keep it as organized as I can. My middle two shelves is primarily adult fantasy, but I do have a shelf for sci-fi and of course more YA fantasy mixed in here. I was hoping my hands would be more stable, I'm sorry. And then my final shelf is like all my other non-fantasy genres. I have contemporary romance, I have thrillers, and I have literary fiction and historical fiction, which is for sure another favorite genre of mine. Woo! And then at the bottom, nonfiction and my stepladder because these shelves are much taller than me. So that is just a quick overview of my shelves and some information, but now we're gonna dive into shelf by shelf and book by book. Alrighty, here's my hand. If you could only see where you're currently located in my room. But nonetheless, we're gonna start with the very first shelf, which is this shelf here. This is my middle grade shelf, one of my favorite shelves on my bookshelf, basically my non Percy Jackson middle grade shelf. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First we have Nevermore, Wondersmith, and Hollow Pox, all by Jessica Townsend. Then we have Furthermore and Witchwood by Tehana Mafi. Next I have a grouping of Rick Riordan Presents. The first is Storm Runner. Then I have Race to the Sun, Arusha and the End of Time. And then lastly, Dragon Pearl. Next is The Iron Trial and The Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Then Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. The List by Patricia Ford. The Naming by Alison Crogan. Daughter of the Deep by Rick Riordan. Mari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Then I have Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. Tristan Strong Destroys the World. And lastly, Tristan Strong Keeps Punching by Kwame Mabalia. All right, moving on to my next shelf, which is my Percy Jackson shelf. First up, I have the Heroes of Olympus series, book one being The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and then lastly, The Blood of Olympus, all by Rick Riordan. Then I have the Magnus Chase series, the first one being The Sword of Summer, then we have The Hammer of Thor, then lastly, The Ship of the Dead. Next is one of my favorite series, is the Trials of Apollo series, book one being The Hidden Oracle, then we have The Dark Prophecy, next is The Burning Maze, and then lastly, The Tyrant's Tomb. Here is just a box set of the original Percy Jackson series, books one through five. And then lastly, Paddington. The next four shelves begin my collection of YA fantasy, for sure one of my favorite genres. First up we have Legendborn by Tracy Dion, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Bitter Kingdom, and The Crown of Embers by Ray Carson. Then I have The Queens of Fenburn, Three Dark Crowns, Two Dark Reigns, Five Dark Fates, 
And then lastly, One Dark Throne by Ken Darbley. Next up is Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. And there's Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Next is An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, Reaper at the Gates, and Sky Beyond the Storm, all by Saba Tahir. And that is this shelf. Next up is what I would call my Cindy Williams China shelf, which is one of my all-time favorite YA fantasy authors. Jumping into her first series which is the Warrior Heir, the Wizard Heir, the Dragon Heir, the Enchanter Heir, and then lastly, the Sorcerer Heir. Next up, we have one of my most beloved series, um, one of my go-to recommendations for anyone who wants to read YA fantasy. I love all of these eight books, um, and they're directly connected to each other. The first one being The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, and then the fourth and final book in this series, which is The Crimson Crown. Then we have Flame Caster, Shadow Caster, Storm Caster, and Death Caster, which are all amazing. Then we have an incredible duology, which is first Ray Bear by Jordan Afueco, and then the sequel Redemptor, both amazing. Then I have Little Thieves by Margaret Owen, and Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. Next I have some more incredible YA fantasy. All these books I would highly recommend. Well, fantasy and sci-fi. The first is Finnegan of the Rock, Froy of the Exile, and Quintana of Sharon by Melina Marchetta. Then we have The Thief, The Queen of Atolia, The King of Atolia, The Conspiracy of Kings, Sick as Thieves, and lastly Return of the Thief all by Megan Wallen-Turner. Then we have Skyward, Starsight, and Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. Then is The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. And last series on the shelf is First Sight, Thunderhead, and the toll, which is currently just the dust jacket because Clay is in the process of reading this. Wow, would you believe it? More YA fantasy series. I wonder if there's a genre I like to read. <laughs> Starting off first, we have The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Then we have Walk on Earth a Stranger, Like a River Glorious, and lastly, On to a Bright Unknown by Ray Carson. Then we have A Curse So Dark and Lonely, Heart So Fierce and Broken, and A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmer. Then we have just a few of my Cassandra Clare books that I have on my shelf. I think I own all of them, but they're just kind of scattered <laughs> across the country at this point. The first is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, which is book one to Dark Artifices. Book two, which is Lord of Shadows. Lastly, Queen of Air and Darkness. Then I have just book two of the Last Hour series, Chain of Iron, which I love. I don't know why I don't own, own book one, but I need to buy it. But I do own book two, big fan. Then I have This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. And then lastly for this shelf is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. And then lastly we have this bottom shelf which is just one series and then some camera equipment, my eyeglasses, and my extra lenses, depending on what I'm shooting. But these are all of my books in the Keepers of the Lost City series. I have books one through eight, one of my favorite middle grade series. They just take up a whole shelf, so here they go. Book one being Keeper of the Lost Cities, then we have Keepers of the Lost Cities Exile, then Everblaze, Never Seen, Lodestar, Nightfall, Flashback, then lastly, Legacy, all by Shannon Messenger. And just like that, we are back at the top again. This is a shelf that is kind of a mix of books primarily YA fantasy series but I also have some adult fantasy and some adult sci-fi mixed in here as well so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in the first book is a discovery of witches shadow of the night and the book of life all by Deborah Harkness then we have my plain Jane and my calamity Jane by Cynthia Han Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows then I have the last magician and the serpent's curse by Lisa Maxwell then the cruel prince wicked king and the queen of nothing by Holly Black these Violent Delights, and Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong, Crown of Feathers, and Heart of the Flames by Nikki Powell Preto, The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson, A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw, and lastly Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. Next is, I would say, kind of the beginning of the heart of my bookshelf. This is where kind of most of my favorites live, most of my favorite adult fantasy series. I have sci-fi on here and a, and a bit of a literary fiction, but for the most part of what you're going to see is my high fantasy collection over the next 
honestly like 11 shelves so just strap in starting first with the black prism series the first one being the black prism the blinding knife the broken eye blood mirror and the burning white all by brent weeks then we have a darker shade of magic the gathering in the shadows and a conjuring of light by v.e schwab a few additional v.e schwab books uh the next being vengeful i don't know where my copy of vicious is it might be somewhere on this shelf but Vengeful, which is book two, and then The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue as well. Next I have The Bone Season and The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon, The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling, All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Kristen Lynn Herman. Lastly for the shelf, The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. Next is a group of heavy hitter favorites. I'm actually going to move my plushie of Riley Kukuma. Isn't he so cute? But first we have The Name of the Wind and A Wise Man's Fear by whoop, Patrick Rolfus. Next we have The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Oathbringer, and lastly Rhythm of War all by Brandon Sanderson. Then I have Foundry Side and Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. Next is The Queen of the Tierling, The Invasion of the Tierling, The Fate of the Tierling, and lastly for the shelf Beneath the Keep by Erica Johansson. Next we have in my opinion one of my prettiest shelves. I just think it's a delight to look at. Starting first with A Winter's Promise, The Missing of Claire de Lune. Last Lastly, The Memory of Babel, all by Christelle Davos. Then I have Uprooted and A Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Then I have my collection of beautiful Brandon Sanderson paperbacks, starting first with The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages, which is the first three books in the original, like, Mistborn trilogy. Then I have Alloy of Law, Shadow of Self, and The Bands of Mourning, which is the next set of books in Mistborn trilogy part two. And then next is Warbreaker and Elantris, all by Brandon Sanderson. And then my YouTube plaque for surpassing 100,000 subscribers, which is a prized possession. This is one of my favorite shelves, so many favorite books on this, and I just like how it looks. I love a combination of paperbacks and hardbacks. Um, I know many people disagree, but I kind of like the variety. You know, variety is the spice of life. First up for the shelf, we have Bone Shard Daughter and the Bone Shard Emperor by Andrea Stewart. And we have my N.K. Jemisin collection, starting first with The City We Became, the bind up of the entire Inheritance trilogy, the fifth season, the Obelisque Gate, and lastly, The Stone Sky, literally all top tier books, please read any of them, but particularly the Broken Earth trilogy, I love. Then we have my hodgepodge collection of one of my favorite series, which is the Bear and the Nightingale series by Catherine Arden. The next is The Girl in the Tower. I have the first two books in the American edition, then books two and three in the UK editions, which are so much more beautiful, but I can't get the first one because it's like $300 on eBay, so here we are. But this is book two. And then lastly, The Winter Witch, of course, again, by... Catherine Arden. Then we have Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Bullman, Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, The Helm of Midnight by Marina Lostetter, Middle Game by Seanan McGuire, Gideon the Ninth by Tom Zimmier, Arrow the Ninth by Tom Zimmier, and then lastly Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. The next shelf of very beloved fantasy and BTS albums. <laughs> First up we have the Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, Dragon Reborn, The Path of Daggers, lastly Winter's Heart all by Robert Jordan, then I have The Blade Itself, and Before They Were Hanged by Joe Abercrombie, then I have Malice, and The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwen, then I have two butter albums, Smooth Like Butter, and the B Collector's Edition. <laughs> Next I have this pretty book which is Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah Baker, which is a book within a book from Middle Game. And then these really pretty editions of First Little Women and Anne of Green Gables, which I am such a huge fan of. Next, we are back on another bottom shelf. As you can see, a lot of Sarah J Mass and then some other romances slash urban fantasy romance down on the end. First up, we have The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, lastly, Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Maas. Oh, and we can't forget Tower of Dawn, which low-key, one of my favorite Sarah J. Maas books. Then I, of course, have Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of Mist and Fury, lastly, A Court of Wings and Ruin. And the last Sarah J. Maas book on my shelf at this point of filming is Crescent City. Then I have The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, I have Written in Red, A Murder of Crows, which I am currently reading, and A Vision in Silver, all by Anne Bishop. Hello, friends, and we are now at the top of shelf 
Number three. This angle is always so difficult, so again, I apologize. Book one is Tempests and Slaughter by Tamora Pierce. Then we have Upon a Burning Throne by Ashok K. Banker. A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. And Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Wicked Fox and Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho. Secret Commonwealth Book of Dust Volume 2 by Philip Pullman. Light of the Jedi is Star Wars High Republic novel by Charles Soule, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, and Olga Dies Dreaming by Xochitl Gonzalez. Next is another all-time favorite shelf full of so many of my favorite series and some photo cards. First we have Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee, one of my favorite series. Then I have The Lies of Locke Lamora, The Seas Under Red Skies, Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Next up is The City of Brass, Kingdom of Copper, and The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. Then is The Poppy War, The Dragon Republic, and The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. And lastly for this shelf is Master of Sorrows by Justin T. Call, a truly epic shelf, if I do say so myself. Next up is my sci-fi shelf because I have been finally reading more sci-fi. The first book is Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Then we have The Water Knife by Paolo Bacagalupi. Vegabonds by Hao Jin Fang. The Wind Up Girl also by Paolo Bacagalupi. A Memory Called Empire. And A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. Leviathan Wakes. Caliban's War. Abaddon's Gate. And Cibola Burn all by James S.A. Corey. Then I have Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Dune by Frank Herbert. Wool by Hugh Howie, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse, A Master of Jin by P. Dejeli Clark, and lastly Light from Uncommon Stars by Raika Aoki. And just like that we are back to fantasy, starting off with The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick, then we have City of Stairs, City of Blades, and City of Miracles by Robert Jackson Bennett. Next is Senlin Ascends, Arm of the Sphinx, and The Hod King by Josiah Bancroft. Next is The Sword of Kaigen by M. L. Wang, The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie, The Hand of the Sun King by J.T. Greathouse, Fultures by Lila Bowen, The Bone Chips by R.J. Barker, and the last book for that stack is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. Next is The Queen's Poisoner, The Thief's Daughter, The King's Traitor, and The Hollow Crown, all by Jeff Wheeler. Next is Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson, The Emperor's Braid by Brian Stavely, Grace of Kings by Ken Liu, and lastly The Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker. Then we have probably my favorite favorite shelf on my bookshelf. I feel like I might have said that like four times, but this is my Robin Hobb shelf. This entire shelf is dedicated just to Robin Hobb. I love her books. I love reading them. I love storing them. These editions are the UK editions. I'm obsessed with them. Let's show them off. First we have the Farseer Trilogy, which is The Assassin's Apprentice, The Royal Assassin, and The Assassin's Quest. Next is the Live Ship Trader Trilogy, the first being The Ship of Magic, The Mad Ship, and The Ship of Destiny. Next is the Tawny Man Trilogy, which is first The Fool's Errand, The Golden Fool, lastly The Fool's Fate. And then we have the Rain Wild Chronicles, the first one being Dragon Keeper, Dragon Haven, City of Dragons, lastly Blood of Dragons. Then I have two illustrated editions of two Two books from the Farseer trilogy, the first one being The Assassin's Apprentice, then The Assassin's Quest, because again, I can't help myself. Next I have this literary fiction shelf, which is kind of floating amongst my fantasy, but I needed another shelf for as you guessed it, literary fiction, and there's room to grow, which we like to see. Book one is Hell of a Book by Jason Mott. Then I have Lauren Groff's Matrix, Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead, A Book of Form and Emptiness, and A Tale for the Time Being, both by Ruth Ozeki, Claire and the Sun by Kazu Ishiguro, Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tao, If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha, The Sympathizer by Viet Phen Nguyen, Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguro, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, The Joyless Club by Amy Tam, The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry, Exit West by Mohsin Hamid, and lastly for this shelf, Normal People by Sally Rudy. Next up I have a shelf of more YA fantasy. I just ran out of YA fantasy space, so this is my first and currently only double stack shelf, though I'm sure I will have more 
Um, probably not even that far away, but I love so many of the books on this shelf, so let's go ahead and dive in. Starting off first, we have A Cat to Witch by Denendi Okorafor, A Cat to Warrior, and A Cat to Woman. Then we have The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow, A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee, Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Clune, The Way Back by Gabrielle Savitt, Burn by Patrick Ness, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, A Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown, Gilded Ones by Namina Forda, The Electric Kingdom by David Arnold, A Lost Away by Darcy Little Badger, Graceling, Fire, Bitter Blue, and Winter Keep, all by Kristen Cashore. And we have The Forest of Stolen Girls by June Her, Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He, Truly Devious, The Hand on the Wall, and The Vanishing Stair, all by Maureen Johnson, Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas, Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, More Than This by Patrick Ness, Empire of Dreams by Ray Carson, Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study, all by Maria V. Snyder. Then we have Shadow Study, Night Study, and Dawn Study by Maria V. Snyder as well. Next is Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian, Shadow of the Fox, Soul of the Sword, and Night of the Dragon by Julie Kagawa. And then, because I am incredibly chaotic, I have Book 3 <laughs> to a series by Naomi Novik. Um, I don't... Book 1 and 2 are somewhere in my life, but here is book three. <laughs> Alrighty, the first shelf on my last shelf, I won't lie, is a little difficult to reach, so I'm sorry about this angle, but this is my like romance, contemporary um, shelf. It's a mix of adult and YA, so let's dive in. First I have People We Meet on Vacation and Beach Read by Emily Henry. Then I have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, Anna Kay by Jenny Lee, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Well Met by Jen DeLuca, Again, But Better, and and Better Together by our very own Christine Riccio. And I have Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Crazy Rich Asian. China Rich Girlfriend. And Rich People Problems all by Kevin Kwan. Then I have Get a Life Chloe Brown. And Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Then I have Always and Forever Lara Jean. I have the first two books somewhere else in my life. I don't quite know where. I think at my mom's house, but I do have the third and final book to this trilogy still. And lastly, Take Me Home Tonight by Morgan Matson. Oh, and lastly, my little sheep and wooly cow that Clay and I got in Scotland. Next up here is kind of like my thrillers shelf, my mystery shelves, and where I put my Naruto coin purse plushie. First on the shelf is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Then I have Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North. And The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North as well. Things in Jars by Jess Kidd. Long Bright River by Liz Moore. Stuart Turton's The Devil in the Dark Water. Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Monansala. 22 Murders of Madison May by Max Berry. Where the World Ends by Geraldine Mc... Cowron? Winter Counts by David Hesco Wombly Wyden. The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Not a thriller at all, but Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. The Silence of Bones by June Her. Also not a thriller, but a beautiful book. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Leanne Moriarty's Apples Never Fall. My thriller shelf is failing because we also have Colson Whitehead's Harlem Shuffle, a book I really want to read, but also not a thriller. <laughs> then we have The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And lastly, The Maid by Nina Pros. Alrighty, this is the first of my primary shelf of non-fantasy that kind of starts by literary fiction. I know I have another shelf of spillover literary fiction. It's because I ran out of room, and you will see as we go through all these shelves. But nonetheless, this was the first shelf. <laughs> so we have The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, also Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Memorial by Brian Washington, Outlawed by Anna North, and then lastly, Redeployment by Phil Clay, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Dorr, The Kingdoms by Natasha Pulley, The Library of Legends by Janie Chang, Real Rights by Hannah Kent, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, and the Bridge of Clay, also by Marcus Suzak. Then I have Donna Tartt's The Goldfinch, The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan, Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, Utopia Avenue by David Mitchell, Wolf Hall, and Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantle. My first shelf of two of historical fiction and historical fantasy, um, starting off with 
A Constellation of Vital Phenomena by Anthony Mara, Eleanor by Jason Gurley, The Unseen World by Liz Moore, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale, The Gollum in the Genie by Helene Wecker, The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornichek, The Book of Magic by Alice Hoffman, The Night Tiger by Yangshi Chu, The Buried Giant by Kazu Ishiguro, The Ghost Bride by Yangshi Chu, A Thousand Ships by Natalie Hines, Transcendent Kingdom by Yang Jassi, a short story collection that is amazing, um, not historical fantasy, but for sure one you should check out, The Office of Historical Corrections by Danielle Evans, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, and lastly for that stack, The Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi. Next we have The Martian by Andy Weir, Christopher Moore's The Serpent of Venice, Neil Gaiman, American Gods, Brief and Wonderful Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz, and lastly The Court Dancer by Kyung Sook Shin. Another amazing shelf. I really like this fourth and final bookshelf a lot. It has just a lot of amazing historical fiction and literary fiction. Just a bunch of books I'm looking forward to reading or have already loved and read. So the first book I have on here is The Mothers by Britt Bennett, then Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho, Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen, The Muse by Jesse Burton, Bone Clocks by David Mitchell, Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu, My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante, Marisa Pessel's Special Topics in Calamity Physics, and lastly for that stack, Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere. Next up we have Gold Diggers by Sanjana Sathian, Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield, Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, The Last Story of Mina Lee by Nancy Jo Yoon Kim, A Good Neighborhood, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Glass Hotel, and Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, and lastly for the shelf, A Burning by Megha Majumadar. Alrighty, next up is for sure also one of my favorite shelves. The first is Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier, The Sisters of Winterwood by Rena Rossner, Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman, The Clockwork's Daughter by Kate Morton, Sumon Kids The Book of Longings, Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvio Morano Garcia, and also Velvet Was the Night by Silvio Morano Garcia, an incredible writer. And we have Aradine by Jennifer Saint, and The Inheritance of Arcadia Divina by Zoradia Cordova. Next is The City of Dreaming Books by by Walter Morris. Then is Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Then The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The Rules of Civility by Amor Towles. Fair Town by Frederick Bachman. City of Thieves by David Benoff. A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. I Am the Messenger by Marcus Suzak. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. A really good example of not being historical fantasy, but there's a paperback and it fit well here. Then we have Codename Verity and Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Wine. And lastly for that stack, we have Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Then we have Fountains of Silence, also by Ruta Sepetis. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. Lastly for this shelf, Circe by Madeline Miller. All right, and the very last shelf is my shelf that is predominantly non-fiction. I think I have a few non-non-fiction that I need to shuffle back into other areas of my shelf, but let's go ahead and dive in. First is The Inconvenient Indian by Thomas King. Next is Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Not non-fiction, but Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy. Red Notice by Bill Browder. Also not non-fiction, but Sarah Waters Tipping the Velvet. Then I have The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. Upheaval by Jared Diamond. Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. How to Be an Anti-Racist by by Ibram X. Kendi, Kate Quinn's The Huntress, which is not nonfiction, <laughs> Crying in H. Marked by Michelle Zauner, Don Green's The Apothecine Review, The Romanoffs by Simon Seabog Montefiore, a great book on Russian history um, that I enjoyed. It follows the Romanoffs. It's a long audiobook, but it's great. Barack Obama's memoir, A Promised Land, Because You Love to Hate Me. Um, hardcover. My National Parks Passport, which is fun if you like going to national parks. It's like a Pokedex for parks. And then the last book is Where's Millie? A search and find book of Matilda, which is fantastic. Alrighty guys, that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. I wonder if anyone even made it to the end, but I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!